Dr. Damages, this is a letter I am writing to our super eagles in Brazil because I'm sure they went there to buy Brazilian hair for their girlfriends and not there to win games. Please help me read this email to our super eagles. It is a letter from our first lady in Nigeria and she ordered me to send her public letter to you because she likes your show, Dr. Damages. Nigeria. Now only you now can What about the goals? Goals to tell us that you train for this tournament. Do you come with any you were not informed to? Okay, continue. Now that FIFA is calling you to come that they will help you to find your missing goal, will you keep quiet? Che. Che. There is God though. There is God in anything that you are doing. Those goals that you are missing in Brazil, you will answer. There is God, though. 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 Your fan, Sammy. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Dr. Jackery Damages. Woo! Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York. New York City is so great that every year, 52 million people, tourists, they visit this city. Wow. 52 million, yeah. Now, now, you don't want to look like a tourist when you are visiting New York City. No, they will mug you. Now, here is one thing you can do so that you can blend in and look like a true New Yorker. Watch. We're in New York now. Let us dress as New Yorkers. I feel like a complete idiot. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. By the way, that, that man is the son of somebody. <laughs> now, how was your father's day? President Obama, he spent his father's day visiting his daughter, uh, Malia. Yeah, yeah, she's now working in Hollywood as a production assistant. Wow. <laughs> With the, the one and only Halle Berry. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. You, you, you won't believe this. How many years I've applied for that job? Nobody even called me for an interview. Nobody. I just want to carry her, do anything, you know. Anyway, I guess there is man no man in America too. Yes, basically. Yeah. That kind of behavior is why Senator Lindsey Graham recently Caught Obama to size. Watch. The stubborn headed president we have who thinks he knows better than everybody else, we can still save this. Stubborn headed? Stubborn president? headed, delusional, detached president. But that's the last bad thing I'm going to say. Whoa. Yeah, messed him up. <laughs> he, said, he said, stubborn headed president that we have who thinks he knows better than anybody else. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, how can we get such a president in Nigeria? Uh, wow. We can do with something like that. Instead of this dull-headed president who leaves nobody in doubt that he is not the brightest crayon in the box. <laughs> oh, 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 you think I'm way out of line, eh? Yeah. Watch this. Next year by this time, I don't know, probably they will ask me to say something or not. If I will talk, I think I may speak for about two hours. But if I'm asked not to talk, I will only do what I probably have be asked to do. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, yes. Talking about presidents, how did your country's president celebrate Father's Day? How? How? You from Ghana? How? <laughs> president Jonathan, his brain, uh, Ruben Abati, released this picture of Jonathan with his children. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. What a lovely family. Hmm? Yeah. Father and his children. That one on the left looks like him. You see, yeah. So, yeah. The, the second one to the right, that one looks like Desi and Ellis in Madeke. <laughs> oh, oh, only, that, only that she is dark skinned, you know? Oh. You know, Jonathan is really good, though. He is really good with, he has a great dominating gene. So, so the kids, they don't have to worry about uh, having a person, Jonathan's a mental alacrity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they don't have to worry about that. You can see Jonathan in all, all of them. Okay, the only question I have is, so what are their names? Uh, I mean, 
the names of these children. Do you know? No. I hope they have names. So over here, we know that Bill and Hillary Clinton, they have uh, Chelsea. And Barack and Michelle Obama, they have uh, two daughters, Sasha and Malia. So what are the names of Jonathan's children? It's important that we know their names so that when we meet them at uh, ShopRite, we can say hello in the proper way. <laughs> yeah, right. You see them at ShopRite. Yeah, right. <laughs> I can see that things have settled down in Kano. I told you last week that the crisis won't last for long. Sanusi has finally taken his throne. So, is it time to uh, start making fun of him? <laughs> is, is the honeymoon over? Yeah. I, I'm not really sure how to treat someone who used to be like you and I, and all of a sudden he's now an emir. Or, or do you think that Sanusi was, uh, wasn't like you and I? Yeah. Eh? No, no, no. No? Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> that was Sanusi breaking out some moves, you see? Yeah. <laughs> now, 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 I don't think that that move will endear him to Boko Haram people. Mm. They don't like people who dance like that. <laughs> now, for those of you who want to know, here is the kind of dance approved by Boko Haram. Watch. <laughs> The military rescued our girls, have they? No. no? Is anyone still counting how many days they've been in that forest? No. I, I, guess, I, I guess not. You cannot be counting the goals being scored at the World Cup in Brazil and still be counting the number of days the girls have spent in some basic forest. No! The two things don't go hand in hand. No. But, but some good Samaritans, they are doing everything to keep the topic of our girls in the news. They continue to pray and to protest. One woman took it a step further. She dragged the Minister of Finance and the Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mrs. Ngozi Okonjiwala, in front of a camera and forced her to hold a sign that says, bring back our girls. <laughs> I know, I know. Ngo baby, she was so happy to finally hold that sign and, and let the world know that she really wasn't tired of hearing about this. <laughs> even, though, even though I heard that from the grapevine, that um, the only reason why she did that was that Time magazine will have struck her name off the list of 100 most influential people in the world. Mm -hmm. And you know how that is important to uh, Ngo Baby. <laughs> it's very important. Those of you who know me well know that Mamu Dok and I, we attend church services at Loser's Chapel. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to admit it. Yeah? People often ask me, why, Dr. Damages, why? Yeah, with all your success, why don't you join winners at Winners Chapel? <laughs> I always tell them, look, I'm a gentle and humble man, and I don't want to show off my success. Mm -hmm. Well, well, last week, I was vindicated. Boko Haram operatives tried to bomb Winners Chapel Church in Owerra, hey. in Mostet. Yeah. Luckily for us, the bombs were discovered before they went off. Ever heard that someone tried to bomb Loser's Chapel? No, it doesn't happen. So I, I rest my case. Now, a crazy thing happened after that incident. Nigerian military arrested over 400 innocent northerners going to the east and called them Boko Haram suspects. I'm like, give these Boko Haram people some respect, eh? Why would they move their people in a convoy without air support? They don't do that. Haven't they shown us enough to know that they are smarter than that? I beg, let those innocent nothingers go. Let them go. Nonsense. Now, now I'm talking about Brazil. Yeah. How are the super chickens? Oh, sorry, I mean, <laughs> the super egos. Super egos, how are they doing? No, no, uh, super egos, how are they doing? Have they laid any eggs anywhere yet? <laughs> Since, since I ended my days as a player for the Enugu Rangers, eh? I have not been crazy about football. I've done that. I've been there, done that. I hope that doesn't make me a terrorist. <laughs> but for some reasons, I found myself watching and loving this World Cup. 
I personally think that JJ Okocha is talking too much instead of playing the game that we flew him to Brazil to play. Yeah, what do you think? He's not in okay. oh, oh, He's not playing? No. no. What? <laughs> People were panicking because Nigeria drew 0-0 with Iran. Yeah. But that was just intentional. We needed to prove to the world that it's not all our matches that are fixed. <laughs> it's not all of them. We lose some because we are not that good. <laughs> I hope I hope Stephen Keshi succeeds because what awaits him when he comes home may be worse than what happened to this man. <laughs> I know, I know. By the way, you must have been shocked that Ghana lost to the United States of America. Yeah. If you were like many of the fans of Ghana, you may be asking what happened. What happened? What happened, what happened to Pweku Bonsan <laughs> and his juju? Eh? Well, well, I happen to be a friend of Pweku. Eh? He, he told me that he sent his assistant to Brazil to deliver the juju, the winning juju, right there on the field. Mm. But something neutralized that juju. <laughs> we happen to have a clip of his assistant doing his thing right there on the field. Watch. Have a perfect. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hey, did you see what I saw there? Hey, okay, can you freeze that ca freeze that shot? Is, isn't that Anunti Mazi Anunti there? Isn't that? So that is where my man has been? Look at him, oh my god. This old dirty man. Oh, he's not coming back home. Oh. He, he's, he's going with these Brazilian women. Oh my god. So finally, he, he must have said to hell with this national conference. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, yeah, is, is that still thing still going on, national conference? <laughs> yeah, who knows? <laughs> now, there are some good news from the opposition or progressive alliance, APC. Yeah, finally, they have picked their presidential candidates Woo! for 2015 elections. Yes, yes. After several primaries and debates, mm. the members voted unanimously for this man. <laughs> yeah, is there, did, did you vote for the man? What about you? Did you, did you vote? No. Don't start pretending that you are not APC members. I was told that all you Sahara people are APC members. Uh, all of you, 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 you. Anyway, our great opposition party, the Mezaya of Nigeria, <laughs> they had their convention last week. Did you watch it? No. <laughs> they showed them, they showed the PDP how it is supposed to be done. Mm. They were inclusive and they allowed democracy to reign. Yes, yes. Uh, 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 uh. What was that picture that you keep showing? Eh? A delegate was stripped naked Whoa. and walked out of the convention. A raw <laughs> impossibility. Huh. Eh? Mm. He must have done something bad. He must have done the same thing that these men did, that they, they were stripped. No? From what I was told, the man's problem was that not only him waka come. <laughs> you don't go to such a place alone. Hmm? A cockroach is never innocent in a gathering of fowls. <laughs> it has never happened. Just for next time, he should make sure that he waka come with his other principles. 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 I was corrected. Uh -huh. Oh. Chris Singige was there too, the, the former governor of Anambra State and the sitting senator. I, I'm confused. They did not allow him to speak? What? <laughs> they almost beat him up? Well, 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 well. If you really look at it, eh, beating him up was better than the original plan, which was <laughs> to deport him back to Anisha, Head Bridge. Uh, <laughs> uh, I understand that APC, they elected a youth leader. Up youths! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why are you people on social media complaining? Wait, wait, wait. That is the youth leader? Yeah, why are you people on social media complaining? The man was born after Nigeria got her independence. Mm. That is what matters. <laughs> Those born uh, before Nigeria got independence are old. Those born after are youths. That, that's, that's how they define it. In entertainment news, area father, Charlie Boy, turned 64 this week. Yo! Congrats, my man. <laughs> to celebrate, the man climbed out of his siesta bed. Eh. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> he climbed out of his coffin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, no, no. 
Let's now hope that now that he's out of the coffin, that he will place his father in and return the body of the former chief judge to the earth. <laughs> wow. Because he's been fighting with the state government on how to bury his father. But you can never be sure with Grandpa Charlie Boy. <laughs> you can never be sure what he can do next. Anyway, happy, happy birthday, my boy, Charlie Boy. <laughs> yes, yes. Here are some stories making headline news in Nigerian newspapers this week. Jonathan to Kwan Kwasu, you are a failure and desperate. Hey. <laughs> I know, I know. Have you noticed that to Jonathan, everyone is a failure except Jonathan? Other than Jonathan, everyone else is a failure. <laughs> Convention, cracks appear in APC. <laughs> what are they talking about, crack? If they are talking about weed, then now we understand. But crack? How can there be crack or cocaine when Femi Fanny Kaede is no longer in APC? <laughs> How? I don't get it. Arrested pro Biafra members moved to Abuja, says the Enugu Commissioner for Police. Well, well, when you look at it very well, you know, it's better than the bottom of Anambra River, you know. They can manage Abuja. You know what I mean? No? No? <laughs> they normally kill them and put them in the, in the river. Anyway. <laughs> yeah? God chose me, says Sanusi Lamido Sanusi. Oh. I, I, I used to think that kingmakers had something to do with this. <laughs> eh? Oh, I forgot, I forgot. This particular God is named Kwankwazo. <laughs> yeah. That's what he's talking about. Fake ballot boxes, voting materials intercepted in a kitty. Yeah, yeah, they have election tomorrow, and they intercepted fake, what they call fake ballot boxes. But, but that was just for mock election, <laughs> he said, just to train the staff. Nothing more. It wasn't... wasn't... <laughs> Fayose was legally kicked out, says ex-deputy speaker of Equity State. Fayose is the governor, the one running for governor. He was once a governor. But that's not what happened, eh? The man failed. Now he's coming back to repeat the class. Uh, and there's nothing wrong about that, is there? I guess not. No, if you fail, you repeat. <laughs> anyway, regionalism, no longer viable option for Nigeria, says Bode George. Yes. You know Bode George, that con ex -com -com convict. Um, now, now, mister, 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 don't ever think that a return to prison is not a viable option, option for you. <laughs> we can send you back there. <laughs> Dokubo Asari at 50, I became radicalized after converting to Islam. Ha. Get out of here. Eh? My own happened when I joined the People's Club. <laughs> you know what People's Club is? No. <laughs> you guys, uh, you know what I'm talking about, yeah. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tinubu has turned APC to private property, says Ikimi. What? Shut up, my friend, shut up. When he did the same thing in Lagos State, what did you say? Nothing. Now, now you're complaining. He's turned it into private property. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> this is a segment we call Secrets of Pictures. Pictures. Yeah. The first picture you're looking at is that of President Jonathan on a red carpet mm. when he visited Pastor Ayo Oriso Jeffers University. Mm. Here you can see the humble president as he climbs an elevated red carpet just to avoid having his shoes touch the mud. Wow. Yes, yes. Yeah, I said it. If only we had bought this man dozens of shoes and let him remain in Otuoke, that would have saved us a lot of problems. You know what I mean? <laughs> now, the next picture is that of President Jonathan alone in a photo op in Europe. Now, now, that was... When, yeah. You see, when we say that, it's always lonely at the top. When he goes abroad to attend these meetings, he doesn't go there to enjoy himself. Yeah. Now, other world leaders, they chose to leave our president alone. Yeah. Their reason was very simple. Half of the world leaders said they could not understand what he was saying. <laughs> the other half, the other half, they, they discovered that Jonathan could not understand what they were saying. <laughs> 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 It's time for your emails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for your email. All right, let's see. Do we have emails today? Yes, every day, doctor. Let's let's hear them. Okay. Our first email is from Camille in Boston, USA. He writes. I used to live in Boston. I'm sure. I'm, I'm serious. Hi, Doctor Damages. Nice show. More power to your elbow. 
This your nurse is growing her cheeks every day. <laughs> Sign of a good paycheck. If anyone says you are painting our country black, the person really does not know what is going on in Nigeria. If Okupe Abati and Omoki are saying unintelligent words on international TV and social media, then who is painting what's black? Who would? Sometimes I think Okupe Abati and Omokuri are trying to rubbish Jonathan's government. <laughs> it surprised me people still colors. believe in GEJ. Uh -huh. Yeah. Thank you, my man, Kamel. Thank you so much. Shebi, you need brush to do any kind of painting. Me, I only get, uh, I don't get brush. Now, how am I get? And that is why I only hit the nail on the head. Now, about believing in Jonathan, eh? there are only two groups of people who still believe in him. Those that went to the same university with him and those he taught Zoology 101. That is not funny. No, but it's true. It's true. Did you know the school he went to? Anyway, next, next. Our second email is from Dr. Ayoyami in Istanbul, Turkey. He writes, My fellow doctor. I'm sure. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Damages. It's nice to hear Tomato just read my email. So nice of you. Why haven't we seen Mama Udoka on set? I post your link on Facebook every day so Niger wow. people can see that. And I guess Niger TV might not allow this as they are all the same except mm -hmm. Channels TV. Yeah. This our Mumu Niger Nelson Mandela. It's doing nothing. And imagine what the girls are going through right now. You know, the Chibok girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. beg, make him go on a single mission to Sambisa for us. Please, why have you not talked about Babajinda and company on the show? Oh, Please, let oh. us know more about them and others making Niger worse. Tomato just, I will never sleep and will not rest until God give you to me. As <laughs> Maku, the firefighter, I said all. Ooh. Thank you, my doctor. Thank you, my fellow doctor. You see, Bangida na chicken. He chickened out when Abacha confronted him. <laughs> From then on, he's just irrelevant. All he does now is just change WhatsApp message with Gloria Appan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You know what, who Gloria No, Appan. I don't want to know. Of course, you don't mm -mm. know. I have about to meet Joss. Mm -mm. Keep praying. Keep praying. Join the line, you know. But um, if you want the back door, just talk to me after the show. I'll give you the link. The bad dog. Yeah, something that. Anyway. Next. <clears throat> this one a pigeon. I will try. Ooh. Our third email is from Alec in China. Oh, my friend. My friend. Of course. Yeah, yeah. He writes, Doc, I they feel you and the crew members. I swear when I did try. I like the program, no be small. Ooh. I they feel that machine where they, <laughs> where they your back. That machine fit cure HIV or AIDS. Everything. <laughs> If you put them for Niger Hospital, I know one long thing. The truth be say, we not get president for Niger. Waiting be say, bro, Jonah, go hear about the people where they sponsor Boko Haram. Him no fit arrest them. I be him that they, no. I be him they fear them. No. <laughs> even, OB, <laughs> even OBJ need to be arrested too. What? How him take find those Boko Haram people? I where wonder. They follow, <laughs> where I they wonder. follow and talk. I wonder. We must tell ourselves the truth. Bro, that Jonah yeah, truth, really though. weak. <laughs> That's what he said. He weak. <laughs> Niger need president like bro Jerry for Ghana. Ooh. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. If the politicians for Niger, if the old politicians for Niger not die, I promise you say Niger no fit move forward. Uh, no, moving the country forward. <laughs> Basically. Mm -hmm. Now them they cause all this wahala uh. where they happen for Niger today. Talk enough fit to make any changes. We need to take action on this matter. How? <laughs> how old? How old was all the former generals where rule Niger? Today, any youth of that age fit rule LG chairman, governor, senator, Good point. minister, or Good president. Good point. Good point. We need young, vibrant, and able young men to take over that country. You're right. These fools only they interested on how to carry our money go repair another man country. Call them fools. I didn't say it. I know they said it. Now you I did thanks for all the old fools. <laughs> we say them now Nigerian leaders. Mm -hmm. But if I see tomato just my temperature will cool ah, down small. I know, I know, I know what's going on with you. Oh boy, oh boy, don't worry. Eh? If we do something, it go good. But even if we no do something, eh? It go taste more before Yawa go yak yank them all for <laughs> ground. Yakata for bed. <laughs> all of them with their loot, Yakata for ground, six feet under. I'm sure of that. Just watch. Next. 
Yakata. Yakata for bed, you know. What is yakata that? For bed, you know, they go just for Yakata for bed. Play anyway. that song for them. Uh, play that music. Lagatos, Imanu <laughs> Like I said, Sir Lagatos, he's too much. Put all his titles so in Nigeria they don't play. If, if you miss a title, that ticket. So let me first do that class over. ticket. Do it over. Our, first, our fourth email is from Engineer mm -hmm. Sir Lagatos. Sa, mm -hmm. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> the first from Cairo, Egypt. He oh writes, yeah yeah yeah, I remember. I remember. Dear Doctor Damages, thank you for all you're doing. I've been watching your show for a long time, and I have to say the most, it is the most entertaining and informative show on the air right now. Doctor, share all of us, the Nigerians. Mm, where? Yeah. Now, where did Banjuron go hide? No be him saying Nigeria, the last thing, where we need now, now bad luck. I'm but the go vote for Jonah. <laughs> Good luck, Jonah. And please, tell all these people asking about too much just to keep their mouth shut and mm. open their pockets. Ah. Ah, that's, what? that's what we're talking about. We need, we need. He said, I don't need. He said, I don't help them calculate her bride price, <laughs> which is five <laughs> private jets, Ooh. including a five year pay shopping spree. What? And about the Chibo girls, FG is just playing chess with Nigerians. Sacrifice the pawn to get results. Ooh. There is God. There is God. Please, <laughs> please tell Jonah and FG to avoid losing a piece. Many of people has lost the game. Thanks again for your show. Oh, thank you, Engineer Sir Legatus. Eh? You know, during the last election, we asked Jonathan to come and debate his opponents. Hmm. But he said no. He only debated the bunch. Basically. Uh -huh. And people are wondering, <laughs> how come we didn't know that oh, what we got ourselves into? I say blame the bunch. In fact, start a hashtag protest and I will join you. Eh? The bunch must apologize to us. I'm the bunch. <laughs> Okay, next. I'll pray for you. Our final email is from Kennedy. Ah, he final writes. Final already? Final. Wow. Yes. I want to go home. All right. I am really impressed <laughs> with your show and keep up your good work. Oh. Dr. Damages, why don't you schedule a visit to Asoro to see your dear friend That's from it. another mother, That's the Emir of Utuke? Utuke. That's then, okay. Then, finally, Atomato Just, is about to your friend just ah. being curious. I, 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 see you. I 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 see My friend Kennedy, thank you so much for this email. In fact, there is a plan in the works for my official visit to Asorok. Hmm. Yes, yes. We are just waiting for the Nigerian embassy to give it to just a visa. Um, I understand that Ruben Abad is interfering, involving himself in that. So very soon she will get it. Wait, visa. what? And when that happens, you will hear from us. That's it. Uh, oh, that's all the time we have. That's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to drdamages at gmail.com. Gmail and please follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages. Now, here is my concern for today. It's taken from page 128 of the book, See You at the Top, hmm. by Zig Ziglar. Hmm. And it says, You can get everything you. In no, mm -hmm. no, go back. Okay. And it says, you can get everything in life you want hmm. if you will just help enough other people get what they want. Hmm. Yes, yes. Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose you. Hear yes. yourself. Woo. So, are you looking forward to going to Nigeria? We're going to visit Asa Rock. Uh, yeah, Ruben, Ruben called. He said he wants to see you. <laughs> but does he want to see you? No, no, no. I'm going to see my brother and my. Just get to my visa PPR. No, it's, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Anyway. <laughs>